volcano exploded on planet Bezoic, launching particles of rock into space. One of these asteroids was captured by the squadron and brought to our labs. We were investigating these blobulars as proof of cereal life on other planets when we discovered that they actually contain eggs to an evil cereal eating creature from another dimension. We call them Flemoids. Flemoid eggs are exposed to nutritional substances. The eggs hatch. development center in the caverns of Bezoic. They're growing fruit and vegetables, and they haven't had any trouble. General, two days ago we lost contact with Bezoic. We can only assume the Flemoids have taken over. To make matters worse, we have found that conventional weapons seem to have no effect on Flemoids. We need a volunteer to fly to the caverns of Bezoic and attempt a rescue of our citizens there. That's ridiculous. What soldier would be fool enough to enter a cavern full of unstoppable flamoids from another dimension? By recalibrating the phase frequency of our soldiers to match that of our transporters, we can send the flamoids back to their own dimension. We need a volunteer. I'm from Czech Squadron, and I volunteer. Well, that was certainly quite the intro. Um, yeah, this is this is Jack's Quest. I haven't played this game since I was a little kid. I'm hoping I remember at least something about it. Let's do Extreme Ooze. It's basically a Doom clone, so I shouldn't have too hard of a time here. Uh, okay. That, that is a Nostalgia Blast. I believe, yes, Slime Repellent. Grab some health power up, swing around oh. here, you are in there with the blue key. Uh, I seem to re Yes, that does open. Okay, that's a secret. That's good. I remember that much at least. Go in, swing around. Ta -ta -ta -ta. I'm really not so great at this whole commentary thing, so I apologize in advance if I'm boring to anyone. Also, this game itself, I think, is probably going to be rather easy as it was marketed towards smaller or er, younger audiences. There's no violence and there's no blood, it's all mucus and bullets. And by bullets, I mean zorches, apparently, as they're called. So yeah, I'm imagining this is probably going to be rather easy. In fact, I can probably beat the rest of this first level with my spoon. I am going to give that a try right now. That would be fruit. I believe, yes, I do have a blue key. God, I love the spoon. I think at one time... No, that's not a secret. Okay, then. I'm just being an idiot. That's a lot of people I have to stab with a spoon. I always get bored of this game. Like, when I was a little kid, I got bored of this game on the very first level just because it was always so easy. But once I start finding the flemoids and the gray suits that shoot rockets at you, I'm sure it's going to get a little bit more interesting. So, for now... I apologize if I sound bored. I'm not great. I, uh, I hope I'm going the right way, actually. Uh, is that a secret? Oh, yes, it is. That that was vegetables. Are the, is, is that a med pack? I think it's a med pack. Could be wrong, though. Wow, this is actually a really short level. Random portraits of... You're a pinky demon. You are a pinky demon. I don't know what you're actually calling, but I know that you are a pinky demon because I can play with your hit, hit cycle here. It's like punching out a pinky in Doom. Except I'm using a spoon. Oh, he hit me. I think that was, might have been the first step I've taken this level, actually. I guess I have to switch to my machine gun now. 
Are you a secret? You're X'd out, so yes, you are a secret. I know there was also a way to get a Soul Sphere, or a Supercharge, or whatever it's called. Like, the Healthy Breakfast, I think it's called in this game. On the first level, but I have no idea where that is. So, bear with me there. Oh, maybe there wasn't. I got all the secret areas. Gonna have to be a little bit faster this time if I want to hit the par. I'm just gonna blast right through. Okay. Wide open warehouse area. Not a problem. Checks armor. Another machine gun. You are all dead. I believe I also get the plasma rifle clone in this level. You are another I'm just... I don't even care about you. Please let me around. Thank you. Is this where I get the soul sphere? Is that what that is? Healthy breakfast? Supercharged breakfast. I think that's what that is. Yes. So it is the soul sphere. I now have 200 health. Awesome. Slime repellent. Is that arm? Yes, it is an armor bonus, not a health bonus. I actually like this game's music, even though you probably can't hear it over my talking. Don't know if I'm talking too much or too little, to be totally honest. I just don't like the sound of silence when I'm supposed to be doing a commentary. And that's probably going to be my worst enemy, I think. Wow, that is annoying. I didn't even mean to kill him. That was a collateral right there. I do not... Wait, yes, I do have yellow. I thought I had blue for some reason. They mixed up the orders on me. Nope, don't think I can do this, guys. Again, this game is actually pretty spectacularly easy. I don't know if the second or third one are any harder. I never, I've never tried either of them, but I look forward to doing so. I also recall the final boss of this game being like a clone of the Icon of Sin, despite it being based off of a uh, Doom or Ultimate Doom. I don't think Doom 2 was out when this game was released, so that's kind of an interesting thing. I wonder why they gave me the plasma rifle so early on. Or why they're giving me so much ammo for it, for that matter. Blue key. Also, I apologize if my mouse sensitivity is too high. I can't really lower it any further. So I'm sorry if it's jumping around. I just have a really, really, really sensitive mouse. It's a 3500 DPI mouse, so... Not much to do about that, I guess. I was already here. I know there are secrets here somewhere. There's gotta be secrets up here. Maybe I am just going... Oh, nope, there's a secret. Put that open. Teleporter. Crazy monster people. Uh, well, that wasn't very... Ah, uh, pinkies. I'm going to kill the pinky clones. I think that was the first damage I've taken this level. This game really is kind of easy, isn't it? Isn't there another one over here? I could have sworn I'd seen one. Guess I was wrong, question mark? Oh, another secret. Not going in there just yet, I know around. Oh, hello, that is that is a lot of pinkies. That is a lot of pinky clones. Hello, respray the pinky. You fly now. Hi, that's a secret. I am glad that I did not take that other teleporter just yet. So is this like a clone area of the other area? It seems to have the exact same layout. In, in fact, I think I remember this confusing the hell out of me as a kid, so that would probably make sense. Uh, that opened that, I think? No, it opened up a tele- it opened up a plasma rifle area. Awesome. More plasma rifle ammo. I am full. But now I have the Zord Propulsor. Where's that Propulsor? It's Propulsor. Okay. Gotta get my Zorching facts straight here. God knows I'll need it later in life. For something. Get on cash cab, just have him ask, what was the game, what was the game in which there was a propulsor? So that, that'd be a really weird and specific cash cab question, but hey, I'll take it. I have the blue now, so I can go this way. Also, if the clicking in the background is annoying to anyone, uh, my apologies again. I have a mechanical keyboard and I wouldn't give it up for the world, so you're just gonna have to live with it or watch a different playthrough of Chex Quest. I'm not entirely sure there are any, though, so... And again, this game kind of has a cult status, so I'd be amazed if it didn't. Uh, I just lost track of where I was going. This is what happens when you don't pay attention to what you're playing. I think I need to go here. That's another rocket launcher. I'm just going to call them by their new names, I'm sorry. I can't keep the Zorter names straight in my head. 
I could probably do this entire game with a spoon run through, except for maybe the final area. I might have to try it at some point. Maybe the spork. Or fork, or whatever the chainsaw thing is. That's... That is all that's in here. Okay, then. Oh, those are the guys I was talking about. They launch rockets at you, and they're a good time. Hey, this cool guy isn't afraid of anything. Where's my there it is. Rock launch. I'm gonna spoon you. And not in the good way. You don't deserve that. You're too squishy and slimy. And in space for some reason. All the other flamwoods can live here in peace. Why can't you? Bastard. I am really lagging behind here. Five minutes and 22 seconds. I was supposed to get it in three. It's a substantial amount of lag, I would say. This machine gun never seems to have anywhere near enough ammo. So I'll just keep using this, because it always has full... Oh, God. That would have been bad. I accidentally pressed the T button, and this is the Z-Doom source port, so it automatically opened up the whole... Blah thing. Spork. Spork! So can't jump on those, they must have a sector block. What did that open? That opened that. I'm gonna use the spork for the rest of the level. Because I like this spork, this spork is my friend. And the people in the basement probably think I'm batshit insane right now, because I'm talking about stabbing things with spinning sporks. That's another reason I don't, don't do commentaries very often. There are other people in my house, so I sound like a complete retard when I do them. Ah, you guys are worth it, though. Where did I just go? I'm... I don't have blue yet, so I'm probably only gonna be able to go this way anyway. Ah, that was stupid. Perfect Dark then. This game came out before Perfect Dark then. Well, I think this is awkward. I'm just gonna stab some fun ones to use the tension here. And tension effectively relieved. I grabbed the blue key, so I will just go this way. Because apparently that way doesn't have a convenient teleporter leading you back to the room that you didn't want to be in in the first place. I am disappointed in this. They don't even have a single sign graph. Tisk tisk, not even a true science room. Ah. You guys heard the EQ e click, right? I'm not going insane. I did actually open that door the first time around. What is this? This is the shotgun, isn't it? Let's see, what key does it fall under? Yes, it's the shotgun. It falls under three. Back to Spork. I like the Spork. I still don't know what the red crap channeling up along his arm is. I thought it was blood as a kid and it kind of freaked me out a little bit, but hey, whatever. Ah, uh, stabby, stabby, stab. More plasma. Don't need it. I'm already full. This game is really, really easy. I mean, I understand it's only the third level, and it's... It's actually kind of a short game, if I remember right. But still, it is only the third level, so I'll give it time to get difficult. Er, more difficult. Difficulter is now a word. I just invented it. Live with it. Use it in your everyday life, and the world shall be a better place. This way? No? I'm gonna pull out my shotgun and go this way. Ooh, yellow key. That was the right way to go. Okay, where does this lead then? That... that's weird. It's just this whole circle, why even bother? Oh, that's confusing. So, if I just circled around... That's... that's a good time. Okay, it looks like there's a door right here. And so there is. Group this music a little bit. It's definitely not heavy metal like Doom, which means it's not random rock songs that were popular from the time, but hey. It's a nice little elevator waltz kind of theme. I can groove to it. Ruin my groove. Get out of here. Shut up! Make the most god-awful noises, we are interrupting the music time with the audience. No, those don't die in one hit. How many do you take? 
three, and this is the second hardest difficulty setting, the only one where the enemies don't respawn. I'm actually kind of disappointed by that. Uh, keep in mind, I never played much beyond this part <laughs> when I first got it when I was younger, so... I am probably not going to know much beyond this level, even subconsciously. And this is the very first time I've picked it up since I played it probably the year or two after it came out. So, it's been a while. I'm impressed that I've retained this much information. And again, Doom-like games are always kind of muscle memory anyway, so... Uh, yes, this is a Mirage, isn't it? Yes. I'm ashamed it took me that long to figure it out when I was staring right at it. No more convenient teleporters. The only place they had a teleporter in this entire level is where it was totally inconvenient. Good to know. Shut up. Shut up, I'm sporking all of you. Here's a nice spork. It's titanium. Where did you go? Okay, this is red. This is where I'm supposed to go, correct? Uh, yes, this is the door. I can't believe I missed that. I am perping my derp over here. <laughs> I am glad I pulled that down out of gut reaction alone. This is gonna kill me. I don't understand how I keep pressing the T key. Normally my hand doesn't even stray that far. Uh, oh, that's the exit door. Awesome. Let's see if I even came close to matching the part time in this one. Awesome. Not only did I take almost double the time, I only got half the secrets. I am doing absolutely fantastic. We are on the Aboridum. Okay, I can spin around in a circle just by moving my mouse slightly to the left. That is significant to my playthrough. That was a long elevator. That's kind of cool looking. Is this like... I don't, I don't know what that word means. I'm kind of ashamed to admit that. I feel like I should know what that word means. Is this like a plant... plant farm? Oh, I can go through that. It looked like a texture. That was... That was marvelous. Uh, boop. Ha! You are different. You are your own unique and individual snowflake among millions of other unique and indi individual snowflakes. This means you are a secret. I also can't open that door. Oh, this is gonna be a maze level, isn't it? This is gonna be one of those levels. This, this will suck. I can sense it already. Okay. Since I spent so much time crawling through the vents like this is Deus Ex Human Revolution, I have lost all track of where I am in this level. God help me. Okay, switches. Switches are always a good thing. Let's find some more of them. Okay, good, I'm back here. Now I can start to plow my way through this. I need blue for you. Shut up. Oh, you open. Why did I not put here before? Okay, this... This is water. Oh, I feel ashamed of myself. I definitely thought that would be a secret. It does not appear there will be any in this room, though. I just came from here. That's my bad. Boop. Hello. That's a secret? I am ashamed of you, game oh. creators. I wonder if there's a super shotgun remake in the second or third. That'd be kind of badass. Just run around with the super shotgun zorcher. Blowing things away. Well, this one's pretty powerful enough, I guess. Pretty powerful on its own. Um... Where do I go? Right here. Oh, you are also slow moving. I feel like there should be cars. How do they pull off this tinted glass? That's actually kind of badass. Even though I am frame dipping below 60 a little bit now, which is kind of concerning considering this is running off of software. That's kind of cool. 
See, this game was actually really bashed on back in the day because it was supposedly very, very uninnovative, for lack of a better word. It, it was completely lacking in innovation, is what the, the critics said. I actually really like it, though. <laughs> so, I guess that makes me a misfit. Might be an easy game, but it's definitely not a bad game. It is fun, despite the lack of difficulty, and if you can, I would totally recommend giving it a shot. And Quite frankly, if you're able to watch YouTube videos, you should be able to give it a try. It's not exactly a wildly graphically intensive game. If you can stream HD Flash content, you can definitely play this game. And it's also free. Just Google Chex Quest 3 download. It comes with the first and second built in. That's what I'm playing right now. So now we need to go this way again, now that I have the other key. I do not remember this level at all. Can't believe I wouldn't remember this. Ooh, more maze. Hey, supercharged. I need the Skull Tiger announcer to sit here and go, Soul Sphere. <laughs> Even though it's a healthy balance practice. This really is a maze level, isn't it? Like, I, I was just being dramatic earlier, but holy maze. Jesus, bro. Uh, you are transparent. I can walk through you. Theoretically. Where did you come from? I don't care. Okay. Um. Well, that's interesting. They made it so this part didn't even show up on the map. That's... That's just lovely. Thank you, developers. I, I am currently in love with this scheme of yours. I'm gonna find the entrance, I bet. Every time I go into a maze, I come right back out where I started. I never find the actual exit. Is that the entrance? Yep. Of course it's the entrance. Why would it not be the entrance? Life would be good if it wasn't the entrance. So it will never be the entrance. Uh, random wandering flemoids. And this is where the game loses some of its pacing, because I am being horrible. And <laughs> I have no idea where to go. This is awful. Wow, maybe doing a blind playthrough of this wasn't such a fantastic idea. Am I, do I even have to come in here? Maybe there is no way out. Maybe it's just an area where there's bunch of items for me to pick up. I don't know, I might have to go and look across the rest of the level. Oh, nope, there's the exit. As soon as I start to doubt myself, figures. This room's kind of cool, too. I like the way those light effects work. Uh, door, door, door. You're dead. You're dead. That's not a secret. I am gone. No more mazes, please. I am definitely... Oh, 100% secrets. I am proud of myself. Zip up my hoodie, because it's damn cold in here. Caverns of Bazoink. Is this the final level? I think this is the final level. Oh, oh, right. That hurts me. Uh, yeah, this, I think this might be the final level, because I remember finding the Omega weapon here. Also bats. Why are there bats in a chex world? Bats don't eat cereal. They're not related to cereal in any way. At least they brought the flemoids in by saying that they ate cereal. Get out of here. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Uh, why am I even going? Oh, crap. Why am I even going this way? This is awful. Please be something in here. Ooh. Hazardous environment suit. I feel like Gordon Freeman. Oh, that would have been fantastic if I had a red key. But I do not. So life is great. It's funny, the enemies aren't even the things doing damage to me in this game. It's myself being an idiot that's doing damage to me in this game. And again, that's usually my down- stupid T-key! That's usually my downfall, like me pressing the T-key. Do I have no keys at all? I've been saying the word key far too much in the past few sentences. 
You know how when you say a word over and over and over and it loses its meaning because you said so much? Well, key is getting to be that way right now, because apparently I need to have a key to get a key to the key. Use that key to open the door that requires the key in the first place. I am the redundancy king of redundancy king. Dead. How did they not see? Hi, Pinkies. I realized I didn't have to go down here, but it's kind of fun to kill them. Boink. Mm. Ow. Stop. Isn't that the noise that it makes one? Yes, it is the noise that makes one change screen size. Good to know where that comes from. So I have every key but the one I found a door for. This is going swimmingly. Actually, no, I think I found a blue door up here, didn't I? Uh, not that way. Maybe this way? Yes, this way. I am contradicting myself all over the place. Oh, why are there warehouse boxes in this place? This is stupid. I can question the developers. Well, I just lost track of my train of thought. Ah, uh, this is awkward. I hate it when I lose track of the top in the middle of a sentence. Well. It does seem I've quite lost my ability to speak. Because I'm trying to remember this one word. Oh, right. Yes, I do question the, de the developer's ability to maintain a suspension of disbelief within the person playing the game when they're throwing random warehouse boxes all over the place. God, it took me forever to remember that. Probably should not be doing this so early in the morning. I didn't even realize that guy was there. More collaterals. God, if I was playing Call of Duty, I'd be king. Too bad I don't care for Call of Duty. Um, slime pool, slime pool, slime everywhere. I am understanding this fact that there's slime. You know what? It'll be quicker to teleport. Because I went the wrong way like a derp. Still, still hurt. No, it, it wasn't quicker. It just brought me up here. Now I am even more of a derp. Do you see what you do to me, game? I also heard people talking in the basement a moment ago. I assume they were talking about how insane the person upstairs playing a game must be for randomly babbling to himself in the middle of playing it. I'll have to get used to it, because I do intend to do this thing more often if people actually enjoy my style of commentary, which is mainly running around looking like a complete fucking idiot, but hey, whatever floats uh, my boat at this point, I guess. No one else is considering I'm the one recording. That came out a lot more selfish sounding than I expected it to. My apologies. If I wasn't playing so fast-paced in the game, I probably wouldn't sound so ADD, hyperactive, distracto person either, but when I'm playing Doom, my, my attention gets easily drawn away from me. So I don't watch my words quite so carefully. Minecraft would be a little different. Or, well, any game that isn't a Doom clone. Doom clones just move very fast, because the Doom guy is gifted with the grace of the fastest base running speed of any character known to mankind. Well, first person to shoot a person. That doesn't group in flying blue head dogs, or imposter black head dogs, or apparently two tailed foxes, or kid or bats. You know what? I'm just gonna stop. But still, my point my point is valid somehow. Wow! I actually somehow dropped to 55 percent. I need to pay more attention. Yes, this is indeed the final area. That is the final boss right there, folks. That thing. That marvelous thing. Circle strafing for the win. I don't think this is in the actual game, circular strafing. So that would actually explain why I'm having such an easier time with it. Oh, you open. That's a substantial amount of water. Okay, if I remember correctly, and I do remember correctly, the BFG 9000 is in here. What's it called? It is called the Super... or the LAS device. Okay. It even keeps the BFG noise. Oh, hey, guys. And cue the outro, outro scene. After sending the monstrous Flembrain back to his own dimension, you free the captives. Yet Flemoids are everywhere. You and the captives make a break for your spaceship. The Flemoids slime your ship, but you narrowly escape into orbit. During the return, you are congratulated for the daring rescue, but you issue a warning. We haven't seen the last of the Flemoids. 
Unfortunately, you are correct. For as you return home, you find that the Flemwins have somehow followed you here. Prepare for more Czech's Quest 2. Terror in Czech City. Yes! I remember this from the actual game, because it pissed me off when I tried to connect to the website and it just brought me to the serial website. The Chex Quest domain name went down very, very quickly after this game came out, so I never got to download Chex Quest 2 or the Chex Quest 3 beta that was finished in 2008. In any case, here is the outro video that came with the game's actual retail disc, not the download. Don't worry. Just relax. I'll get you out of this gunk. Thanks. Okay. Let's make a break for it. We're almost there. Oh, no! Subspace transmission. Congratulations, warrior. You have succeeded in your mission. Your efforts have honored us all. Thank you, Commander. But hold the party mix, because we haven't seen the last of the Flemoids. 